What is up, 1320 fans? Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to the last and final day of TX2K24. Now, we were a little bit delayed this morning. It rained a lot last night. It took them a while to get the track clean and ready to go. It's about 12.30 right now, and we got heavyweight in the lanes ready to go. I believe that's the first class of the day. The requirement for that is you gotta be over 4,000 pounds. You gotta be a real fatty. Not kidding, that's what most cars are these days. But uh, you gotta bring a lot to play with, too. You gotta have a lot of power, because 4,000 pounds to move that kind of weight a lot of power. There's some heavy hitters in this class. Up next we have A90 and there is a couple seven second Supras on the property. Hopefully we see a seven today. Uh, hopefully we just flat out see good racing. It's eliminations all day, so let's go. Let's go! Now it's time for the class that started all. This is the 2JZ class. This event actually started as a super race back 25 years ago, and now it's evolved into what you see today. GTR, Supras, Mustangs, any kind of street car is welcome here at TX2K. Our number one qualifier in this class is White Rice, 240, and then one of my favorite cars that showed up just a few days ago, Dirty Taco, unfortunately just found out that car is broken, so we won't be seeing that truck race again. Let's see some 2JZ racing. Here we go. Don't put a bed, the bed's off the of <laughs>
245 at 224. That right there, White Rice, fastest car on the property. That was it. It was a buy run. He didn't have to do that. He's like, no, I'm gonna do it. 640 and testing is 620 in first round eliminations. This is gonna get spicy. Can anybody keep up with them? It's I don't think so. <laughs> Donworth up here with a little bit of a problem. He's got both of his cars in the same class, and uh, he, he's only one driver. So I don't know if he's going to hot lap it back around, get up here in time to race, but he's got to race Kimbo in his all-wheel drive GTR and then make his way back up here to race his rear-wheel drive car in the <laughs> against someone else. So we'll see how that goes. Six sixty two at two twenty eight for George. What the hell? And then a six seventy out of Kimbo. That is ridiculous. The, the fastest George has ever gone is a six fifty one. And that was a bad start. You saw him hopping and hopping and everything off the starting line. And he just did a six sixty four. Dear Lord. If that thing makes it A to B pass, that, I don't know. That thing's gonna break a record again. An upset in round one of the GTR Limited class. George Dalworth, a number one qualifier, going out to Mac Bronson with side-by-side -side sixes. And George predicted it. Mac is one hell of a drag racer. He races that thing every weekend, basically. George now has to hot lap up here on a golf cart, make a pass in his other GTR. Hopefully that one makes it to the second round. <laughs> checking the track right now you got a little bit of time i think side by side sixes in first round pretty sweet uh, right i didn't get to see the slip or anything so i don't know yeah what happened. max crazy on a tree in a gtr he is insane that thing left and i'm like well that's over right yeah there. <laughs> no way i'm catching him that is something to see from you know being right next to him see oh yeah cool out it's really awesome hell yeah good run it was cool to see side by side sixes it's insane Especially considering how hard it was for the first GTR 6, like back in 16 or 17 when Giddy did it in his GTR.
I remember a few years ago when a six was like really rare. I remember when Giddy did the first six at TX2K years and years ago. Uh, now, I feel like these these cars can do it no problem. Everybody's got it figured out. You just have to have the, the right amount of money and you can go a six. It's wild to see these cars in just this regular class. Well, they're fast cars, but it's wild to see these cars just several, several, several of them run sixes. It's kind of cool. Platform's come a long way since the debut in 2009. Your number one qualifier by almost two tenths and almost 20 mile an hour is that right yeah yeah that's right <laughs> <laughs> those turbos doing work yeah man i mean the car is dialed in it's consistent it's fast so you know we go out read the track read the weather and you know put it something in it that we think can get the job done and, and that's what we did first round of qualifying and was able to uh, keep that position without even running it out again. And you just kick back, you let Sam polish the car all day. Man, I, I, heard, I said someone at the beginning of the day, like, we've only been 228 in this car, and everyone says it's slow mile an hour for the ET, and I think it was because I've never waxed it. And I think with, ah! with Sam's spray polish, <laughs> yep. I, you know, tonight when we need to go a little quicker, that's going to shoot us right into that mullet exactly. 235 territory. You don't territory. need to go quicker. Right, I found a secret weapon. He had it here the whole time. Uh, Maybe someone found a few hundred extra horsepower. <laughs> right, exactly. What's your strategy for today? Um, play it round by round, you know, see who I'm up against, uh, put enough in it to beat that person uh, without uh, spinning or doing something silly to lose a round wow. and, uh, you know, make it to the finals. You turn it down a little bit for first round or just leave Yeah, I, I did. You know, we were real worried about the track at first. Like, right now, I think it's probably just fine. It took six hours to clean up. Yeah, the sun's it's been fine. out for a long time, so, yeah. you know, we could probably go really fast, but um, racing Jason, uh, Jordan Martin's Viper. Oh, okay. And, uh, right here? Yeah. So we have something what we consider conservative, uh, you know, so we don't spin the tires and throw one away and hopefully uh, run them. Here we go, the fastest streetcar class on the property. Streetcar Extreme, round one coming at you right now. Makes it look so easy. <laughs> it just leaves. It's oh. just simple. Woo. <laughs> what a run! Wow. That shine's working good on there. Oh my! Thank you so much. Thank you. Ejecting right at the quarter mile at 185 miles an hour. And the Moto Kratos won the fastest wiper in the roll race on Friday, going up against Earl in his Mustang in first pair here in Street Car League.
806 letting out. Impressive. Thankfully, they just caught him on the spotter. But it looks like he Shoot, he's having a bad day. coming out. Poor guy. Sometimes it's so hard to know that you're broken as you're racing down the track. Uh, luckily, he stopped at about 300 foot mark and not all the way down the quarter mile, which would have broken his car a lot more and taken a lot longer to clean up. But this is going to take at least about 45 minutes to clean up. So we'll be back shortly. Look at this. We've got matching merch right here. All the 1320 gear. Yeah. Thanks for wrapping. <laughs> This is a great time to remind you, go check out 1320video.com. We just released five or six different designs you can find on our website. The link's in the description below to make it really easy for you guys. We sold out of a lot of our TX2K merch. We have it for sale as a pre-order on our website. Get your order in, we'll ship it out in a few weeks. fastest GA. Yeah. The girl that you took the record from told me that. Where is she at? Lex is right. Oh, right there right. she <laughs> is. She's still smiling though. She don't feel too bad. She thinks she's going to take it back in a couple weeks. <laughs> What's the setup on the GA? Remind me what it is. Oh, it's uh, it's a 417 uh, six bolt RHS setup. It's got uh, an LS9 blower on it with a CTSB lid. It's on methanol and all the pulley, all the pulley it can handle. <laughs> what kind of steam is this thing making? Uh, she's got to be north of 1300. She's got to be about 1350, 1375. Okay. okay. And what's the best? What is the record for this? Well, it went 792 with lifting the okay. past last pass. So okay. it's a little better air today. You know, got a little drier. Air got better. So hoping the tune-up is uh, the safe tune-up. It gets a little hotter today, and she turns a little better number because uh, right. the field's got some room to grow. So I'm hoping. Uh, we get her down into the you know 80s or so, maybe a 70. All right, so, so anything we, faster than 92, you'll be stupid excited. About. Yeah, stupid right. excited. Yeah. Good luck to you. Awesome. Who thanks. Who are you racing? Uh, Gunner, Thomas Gunner. Good luck. <laughs> I know, right? Hit that ET. <laughs> hit that ET and hit the tree. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Jimmy Dale. Ah! Ha! I'll be damned. I'll be damned. Isn't that long? I was like, he's got him by four tenths, and then obviously he did not have you by four tenths. He's got he had me by four tenths in like qualifying map. Right, right. But racer world, I went 030 on the tree, you went point two something. So the only nitrous car on the property is still in it. Still in it, baby. You, you gotta got keep you gotta go rounds. You gotta, I gotta you, go rounds. If I can keep the front end down, like Look at the situation here, okay? Woo. We already got mom's gym bags over here. Look, ankle weights, ankle weights, <laughs> more ankle weights in the bumper. We're trying to keep the front end down. 
It just doesn't want to. It's a wheelie machine. Gotcha. Yeah. What was easy on that? Was 29? Yeah, that's one. Not even my fastest pass. You got more in it. You that's yeah. just warm up, warm up pass warm for up. you. Yeah, there we you just go. gotta start somewhere, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Something sweet. So I don't know who we're running next round, but I'm stoked. Boy. Well, you, you just beat the world's fastest G8. Yeah, exactly. And my old boy, where's Cowboy James at? You see old Cowboy been walking around with me? He's got a saying. He goes like this: <laughs> "Sold that cow." <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jimmy Dale. Thanks, we'll bro. see you second round. Good luck to All you, right, buddy. Thanks, oh yeah. Business right now. <laughs> I saw you won that good grudge race yesterday, yes, huh? Sir. Yes, nice sir. work. New PB too. Oh, on, on blower. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Eight twenty. Yeah. Badass. Only if we had some good air, it'd have been a little better. You know what I'm saying? And I understand it screwed you in eliminations because now you got to race your friend yeah, Joe over here in C5. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a few tents on you. Yeah, and, and he got a trans brake, so you know he got the reaction time advantage. But we gonna see what it do. I'd rather lose to him than anybody else. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's all good. It's crazy to see these things running so quick. I mean, yeah. in the heavyweight class, running yeah. like sevens. Yeah, see, we tried we tried to get in the heavyweight, but it was too late, so we had to jump in the street car. Ah, gotcha. Get in where we fit in. So we just came to compete, have a little fun, you yeah. know, nothing too crazy. How much power is this thing laying down? It ain't really been on a dyno. It's all more, mostly street stuff, so, you know. Gotcha. More of a grudge car? Yeah, more, more than anything, you know. Pimpest track suits in the game right here. It's not how you race your car; it's how you stand by your buddies. Like, Nobody knows that. Are, are we doing the Are we doing the seven now, or is it? Yeah, it's gonna be seven eighty-five this time. Though. Oh. Yeah, we gotta win, so we gotta beat a seven ninety. Oh shit. Seven eighty-five. The, the Domino's Fox body. The Domino's Fox body. <laughs> Dang. Yeah. So. So everything was looking good yesterday after that one pass. I nice mean, we wheelie. strapped down the front. We'll carry the wheelie out a little further. Put the momentum forward and run 785 this time. I'm calling it right Perfect. here, right now, and we're winning this round. What's the breakout for this class? You know, 767. Okay, like you, you know, yeah, you shouldn't get close to that. Uh, we could, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> I want to. Yeah. If I leave breaking out, I'll be it. fine. things called hickory sticks but I'm pretty sure they put some sort of like addictive kind of like crack in it because I opened that bag and they were all gone in like five minutes man. hickory sticks you should look them up if you have it
Got any more wheelies in this thing? <laughs> uh, that's not the plan today. Yeah, I know shit. Sure. <laughs> we'll keep it on the ground, try to go some rounds. But we, How'd uh, you qualify? First in the sport class. Yeah. I'll oh, take nice. that. <laughs> nice. Tune it down. Pretty good. Knock on wood. You got yeah. lucky on that one. I'll take lucky. I'll take lucky any day. <laughs> I talked to a few people that were first and got bumped at the last second to the next quickest, the bottom. That's not where you want to be. No, you want to be on the top half yeah. if, that, if you can. Yeah. If, if you that can works out. everybody. Yes, sir. Cool. This thing's clean. Thank you. What's the combo under the hood? Small block Ford with the YSI. Cool. My very bar. first car drove to high school. Oh, really? Yes, sir. So you've had it for a while. Yeah. Has well, it all been redone? Oh, uh, yeah. It's over years. Okay, years I was going to say, it looks really stuff. nice to be that old. <laughs> Sweet. Well, good yeah. luck at first round. Thank you. Thank you. You guys missed it a couple days ago. I think it's our day two coverage. He did a massive wheelie and just set it down so nicely. It takes a lot of skill to do that. Again, he said he had it taken out of the car, a little bit smaller this time, still running at 890, letting off early. <laughs> I'm excited because it's time to go stick shift racing again. We got first round coming up right now. We got a lot of heavy hitters on the property. I think four or five different stick shift H pattern, six second cars here in first round. The current quickest stick shift car in the world is Grubworm right here. But Nick Coleman just told me that this little S10 is turned up and he wants to break that record. 661, he's hoping to go 650s. We'll see if he can do it right here. being Joel Granis' kryptonite, meeting him three times out of four times. They've lined up together. Let's see what happens on this matchup. Good. He beat me, but it felt good. What do you What do you think you did? I had no clue. Like a 750? I don't know. Cause that's what you did. 750 what? 750. Well, mile an hour. 195. 
okay? <laughs> Not bad, right? He won, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, that's good. So. That's okay. That's good. 750. I'll take it. Is that personal best? Yeah, actually by a lot. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. I don't know if the motor still runs, though. It shut down at the end of that, so. Mustang after doing a motor swap a few days ago. Take out a Viper, baby. All right, babe, let's go.
<laughs> that couldn't work out any better, man. Oh. Amazing. And I almost got my four at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, God. God. I knew you were gonna get it. I knew it. Oh, 780. Yes. 177. Oh, okay. Was it 504? 504. Oh, so this is like a little Thompson Motorsport off the shelf motor. Yeah. And True North Turbo 88 millimeter S400 turbo. And this thing is rolling. Holy. Uh, so exciting. It is so exciting. Like, I'm your tarp and stuff right now. Sure, man. Peter, 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 Peter. Lucy, 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 yes, this Lucy, is Lucy, Lucy. My kids are idiots. They making fun of me and made me a T-shirt of me holding my cat. I love my cat. So if you don't like cats, screw you. I love my Lucy. <laughs> run a six and get it over with god wouldn't that be great <laughs> right yeah. all of us are like all right the white vets up could run a six every time <laughs> every time we're hey, all excited for it welcome to the last like year and a half <laughs> two years of my life <laughs> this is literally like and and, and, I, and i'm holding the camera too so like i'm doing it for my youtube and i'm like it's gonna be this time it's gonna each time each yeah time, right time, right right time. well you get you, st you still get to move on so <laughs> hey that's well, all that like matters Nick, that's right look like right. Nick to be great. <laughs> Second quickest stick shift car in the world. I think the S10 is third quickest. He wants to be first. Gonna be this fast. He's got to turn down a little bit. He just wants to go to third round here. to the next round, that black S10. <laughs>
66, 134 mile an hour, close to half the track. Another 686. I think that's his third 686 of the weekend. That's four sixes in a row for Dave going to the finals. Here we go. Two six second Mustangs battling it out in the semifinal. Brett LaSalle coming against number four of Brian, who's turned it up a lot apparently to see if he can compete with Brett. We've got a GoPro on Brett's car to see what it's like running the street. Line. than the other lane. That thing is so fast. Those turbos just freight train on the top end. We'll be seeing him in the final against whoever wins this race. Also, I just heard that Brian in the left lane, zero, zero, zero reaction time, perfect reaction time. As good as he could possibly do against Brett, he gave it his best shot. That is incredible. this weekend. I freaking love to see it. Are you? Oh my god! A, a 770? What? <laughs> what? Yes! 777! Seven, seven, Let's do it! So what the hell red light into the finals. Huh? How did he go red? I have no idea. It like, didn't trigger. It, it's that, that bottom bulb is doing weird shit and it flickered and he wasn't deep enough. Fuck, you might end up doing a rerun or some shit. Let's see what happens. James. It's official. I just heard Kyle Williams is going to be rerunning that last race. There was an issue with the tree, so we'll see him maybe make it in the finals, but definitely set his personal best again.
Number one and number two stick shift racers going into the final. Jonathan Atkins and Nick Coleman. It's going to be one hell of a race right there. another finals huh I know this is wild <laughs> oh my gosh after the week we've had with the car like this is insane to even be here and running I mean <laughs> I can't believe it this is crazy what were your biggest struggles this week um well my first pass well all three qualifiers I was the clutch was slipping ah. and my my best pass that I qualified for the fastest in this class, I it didn't even grab fourth gear. I coasted, I coasted into it. Holy crap. And my car went on a hoist Friday afternoon, and it's been there since 1 o'clock Sunday morning. So we, we went through the ringer to get a clutch here and put in the car. And now you're in the finals. And now I'm in the finals. This is like... This is insane. You know how much ET separates you guys? I have no I don't I have no idea. You're just driving. I'm just driving and like <laughs> I'm glad this is making it A to B and like we're doing it and You told me last year wasn't the fall our race, the roll race was the first one you ever won. I know and here we are again. Yeah. Well not again, but and like you went through hell getting this thing rebuilt. Yeah. After the the wreck you had is, just shortly. This is after. the first event that we brought it out. We really? didn't even have any like real testing on the car before we brought it here. So this is just Crazy. It's all paying off. It is. It is. <laughs> Good luck yeah. in the final. Thank you. because your outfit changes all the time, and we're big fans. So this started on Miles of Mayhem, the Canadian Dragon Drive, as a joke. And then I just went all in, bought a bunch of suits on Amazon, and it's it's a thing now. <laughs> just take it all in, folks. This is what we got. And this isn't even your best one. You've got several. I've got, I got four with me. I brought a bag with nothing but Canadian snacks and track suits. I love it. Buddy. Hells yeah, Fred.
to start singing the Canadian National Anthem, but I won't get past the first bar because I don't know it. Oh, Canada, that's all I really know. If you're still watching this clip, bring me more Canadian snacks. In our GTR Limited class, we have Clay with the T1 car and George Dodworth with the T1 car as well. Both running sixes in the last round. Can they do it again? Can we see a side-by-side -side six second GTR final? Tony, congrats on your six. Thanks, man. That's all he's doing to keep making it rain sixes tonight? That's the goal. That's the goal. I like it. Who, which, which car are you racing? George, yeah. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, we, right, we got to put something enough. strong together on this one. At least, at least it's T1, T1. Yeah, for Good sure. Luck to you, buddy. Thanks. Oh, Good yeah. to see you. Yeah. In our GTR 68mm class, we have Wally, who's on the sweep right now. Four sixes in a row in this car. Going up against a blue Shop Houston GTR next door. It's going to be a really good race. Something happening with David's car. 702 in the final in the left lane from the shop Houston, taking home the win in the 68 millimeter class. New PB on that last pass? Yes, yeah, nice car. You got a few more tents? <laughs> I put a turbo 400 in it and a Motec. I still have a factory computer and a 6R80. I know, this thing's pretty legit. It's the pretty simple. Fastest, it's the fastest OEM computer car that we know of. That's anywhere. insane. We checked. It's a testament to your work, for sure. It's awesome. I was just hoping you had a few more tents for Brett over here. Uh, I don't have Brett. We <laughs> have the same motor, but the 6R is my limited factor. Uh, I got gotcha. It's a privilege to race, bro. We know each other well. Yeah. We're in the same camp anymore. It's awesome. Sweet. So, Good luck, man. Thank you. Congrats on getting the final. Mr. John Lund going up against Brett LaSalle in the final here in Streetcar Elite. Who's going to take home the money? Body taking on the win. That was a great 
It's actually 770. So what's the breakout? 668, I believe. 768? Yeah, 768. All right, 768 is the breakout for this class, and they're both pretty dang close. So hopefully get a good race. No one breaks out. It's going to be a close one. Victory is three one hundredths. Yeah. Holy shit! What a race that was. The GoPro angles are gonna be epic from that. Holy shit! Yes. Woo. Hell yeah! Oh <laughs> I didn't know who to root for. I'm friends with Kyle I know. too. I know. I know. That's crazy. That is so amazing. I can't believe that. James. I mean, I can't. But oh my gosh! Wow. <laughs> what a surprise! You guys won GX UK. Neither of you are gonna should have been in the final. <laughs> No, not you, on paper. You not both paper. got faster as yeah. you went along. That's freaking got amazing. Got dialed in and finally got it all figured out. Wow. Wow. You guys just won TX2K. We just won TX2K. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> that was sick. Wow. Wow. That was a freaking win. Show for that one. Woo! But he was like, I didn't even know he had that car. I was like, dude, we met him with that car. <laughs> it's been a little bit, a little faster now. And then we're in a circle at Texas Tuesday. 775, is that 775? I grabbed the brake right at the end, had about a half a car. Because so the, the pass before that, we went a 6, 68 with a 9, which is the breakout light. Gotcha. So I knew that tune up was going to go the number. You so want to slow it down a little bit, make sure you I, I was like, out. well, and then I, he was like there, and I was like, I grabbed the scramble just to kind of, uh, yeah. and then I was like, oh crap, and I grabbed the brake. And then, so we had scramble and brake all in the same pass. The freaking brake house. Oh my god, you won TX2K! <laughs> he kicked the Woo! shit out of me. Uh, like, if there's anybody I had to lose to, I'm glad I Dude, stayed. Neither of you should have been in the final. Though. No, no, you neither of us should have been in the finals. But that, that was work, amazing. Man. That was an awesome. That was the best race of my life. Yeah, yeah, super yeah, it was super close. Uh, we had identical reaction times. And then, yeah, so I had maybe a half a car, and then I actually grabbed the scramble, and then I was like, oh, crap, no, because I, I was right at the breakout last round, so I grabbed the brake right after it. And I was on the scramble, like, I got nothing left. Oh, man. <laughs> Point zero three margin of victory, Oh, I love that for you. 118 to the 60. He beat 118. 118 to the 60. Yeah, I don't even know. Mine was 120 something. I'm How sure, many but... sevens did you run today? Three. <laughs> From zero to and three. And how many sevens did you run before Congrats, today? Buddy. No, no, no. It's right here. This is Congrats to you, sir. Woo! Woo! Get a hold of that. Yeah, oh, I got to touch it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Congrats, brother. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Good job. Thanks, man. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. On the desk all week. All month. Here. Yeah, boss. Thanks, man. This car had no. Like, it shouldn't have been here. Huge shout out to Thompson Motorsports. Like, Tuesday it was not running. Wednesday we changed the motor. Thursday we put the wheels in the air and it had no data. Friday, or whatever day it is now, first seven second pass, second seven pass, seven second pass, seven seconds in the final. And you run her off at Texas 2K. I couldn't ask for Not a bad, not a bad show, buddy. Not a bad show. You ain't got your yeah. winning shoes on. They're in my. Uh, I you left them at they're home. in the gear bag. No, <laughs> I can't. It's unlucky you leave them at home. You at least gotta bring them, right? Just leave them in the car. Just leave them in the car. Just wear them driving. So now we just have to describe your winning shoes to me. He has green gator skin shoes yep. from a pimp that a pimp gave him. Yep. Yep. That's right. That you're not wearing right now, and you're in the winter circle. What is this? I, I don't know. Yeah, we, we better go. Yeah, yeah we're just scooter right. Yeah, Congrats yeah. on the win. Thank you. That looked effortless. But also, the other guy, just as fast. That looked like a good damn race.
race. Yeah, no, it was good. Yeah, I mean, we, we left. I've been, this weekend I've been uh, just kind of being a little lazy on the tree because I feel like the light was kind of doing weird things on different was, races. Yeah. And, like, it did it to me one time. I said I went perfect and I never go perfect. And I went, like, a 008, and I'm like, that's too close to red. Awesome. So I'm going to slow up. So, you know, I was just kind of relaxing there. And then, you know, knew we had enough power to, you know, get ahead even if they got a little hole shot there. So they kept doing that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Took on the win. That's it. Again, that's all this thing does. Thank you. All right. <laughs> now for the big final, the 2JZ class. Number one, number two qualifiers going at it. This is going to be White Rice or the White Supra. <laughs> for the win, 641, 225. Cars smoking, getting out. Eric with 037 on the tree. Lots of fire underneath that thing. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Not bad, win. not bad, win. Man. Thanks, pal. That, there you go, buddy. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> did you win this last year? I can't remember. We did. Okay. Yep, so, we so did. Two in a row or is this three? Two in a row. Very nice. Very yep. Nice. I wish Dirty Taco could have made it all the way I know. Through, that would have been sweet having them both awesome lined up. it's awesome see you guys in, in, yeah. in the winner's circle anyway. Yeah. Thank I guess you, I should have just made two f***ing trophies. Man. <laughs> I know. Asshole. Thanks, pal. I got to get you another one. Well done. Thanks. Uh, is that point of the night we are on to our final final at TX2K24 it is the stick shift class which is my personal favorite and we have Nick Coleman versus uh, Jonathan Atkins and Grubworm coming up uh, that happens to be Grubworm is the fastest stick shift 
Groberm is the fastest H pattern stick shift car in the world, period. And Nick Coleman is the fastest LS powered stick shift car on the planet, period. So, a couple good ones. for Nick Coleman and Nick Coleman Redlist. So unfortunate, yeah. but Grubworm is taking home the win. <laughs> oh, we got, someone, got someone falling over. <laughs> spectators come down here and see what the track prep's all about. Texas Texas Motorplex here put on one hell of an event and made sure the track was amazing for everyone. They were prepping between each class, even in the finals. It was incredible. We love Texas Motorplex and NS Texas is the new home of TX2K. I hope you guys come here and enjoy it for yourself. We had, I think, 10,000 plus fans here today. It was just wild. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. If you haven't seen all of our updates from the previous days, go back and check those out because it was a very interesting event. A lot of badass cars here. Thank you to TX2K and everyone who made this event possible for having us here. If you haven't already, check out our website, 1320video.com. Get some fresh merch. There's lots of new stuff on there. Hit that subscribe button too. We'll see you guys next time.
Don't wear slides on the track.